in addition to, in addition to graphing things and and making cool simulations with Desmos, one of the most useful things is doing fits. It's actually a really fun way to make fits, and unlike a lot of other programs, you can very easily make a fit of I think pretty much any function uh, you like. It doesn't necessarily have to be linear. But first, let's start off with some linear data here of diameter versus circumference for a circle. I have hundreds of data points from students over the years of circles. Don't ask me why. The answer should be obvious. So if we just copy this uh, circumference versus diameter data, and then we go over to uh, blank Desmos, and you literally just paste it. Now, this is diameter, so I'm going to make that a D because that makes more sense to me. And this is going to be uh, circumference. You can make an equation, uh, circumference equals pi times diameter, but then it says, well, why did you put in that data? That doesn't make sense. You're trying to do a fit. Instead, what we'll do, instead of equals, you use this tilde sign like that. And Desmos knows if you're putting a tilde, you're trying to make it fit. And any variables in there that aren't already accounted for, either in your data table or somewhere other uh, in your list of parameters, it knows you're trying to fit those. So in this case, it does a, a fit, and um, we need to put a slope in front of that. So instead of pi, let's put m and see what it gets for the slope. So it tries to fit a value for the m, and it gets 3.09, which isn't bad. My students did a nice job with that. I just took 10 data points. I didn't really filter it that So good, good job, students. Uh, so that's circumference versus um, diameter. Now let's look at one that's not linear. So I will toggle this off. We'll go back to that spreadsheet here. And we will do radius and area. So area versus radius. I'm just going to copy that. Go back over to uh, my Desmos. Again, I'm going to paste. Uh, and this is going to be my radius, and this is going to be my area. When you look at the purple, very nonlinear line. Now, that, of course, can be uh, linearized by, by squaring. Uh, but let's not do it that way. Let's let Dismos do a nonlinear fit. So we know that this, uh, this should be of the form where the area equals pi r squared. But again, let's not assume that's pi. Let's let Desmos figure it out and put m in front of there. And instead of a, we get a tilde. And that gives us uh, a value for m, which is, again, fairly close to pi. Now, uh, the thing I like about Desmos is not only will it fit uh, a coefficient, it will even fit things like powers. So let's say I didn't know that was a 2. Let's just see what we get. And I just call that, I don't know, n. And now Desmos tries to fit uh, the parameter for this. Now it's not as good as it was before when we forced it to r squared. Uh, but it got 3.5, okay. But it got a power of 1.9578, very close to 2, which is what we would expect. So it's kind of neat that you can start to do more and more complex non-linear fits, and it's as easy as that. You can turn it on, turn it off. So that's how you do a fit uh, in Desmos. Maybe we'll fit more stuff in another video.